guys welcome to our next 20 minutes reading so let's look what the universe is saying what we should do today and i'm just randomly getting cards and i'm not looking and i'm choosing this one here what is this all about let's see so so this is one thing okay so it says wedding reading <laughs> future spouse reading again so you wished for that <laughs> and it's coming again um let's see what we're asking let's ask about um what you like most in your future spouse like what characteristic like what do you think or what do you like the most about um your future spouse and let's see i want to get tarot and i also want to get yeah let's see so what do you like most about your future spouse and this is also a reading again i hope a lot of you resonate <coughs> But we're gonna see. What do you love most about your future spouse? What you will love most about your future spouse? Okay. Let's do it like this. I love how, how this deck like fits so beautiful into decoration. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this. This is so beautiful. So, what you will love most about your future spouse. And this time I want to do it a little bit different. I'm getting the tarot and then I'm getting some oracle cards. So we have the Knight of Swords, but it came out in the reverse. Let's let's read reversals as well. Okay, we have the oh man. Ah. We have the what is this? Oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. So they're making a lot of compliments, guys. Okay, this is someone who compliments you a lot. The Two of Cups is this lovey dovey energy yeah this healing energy also but it's in in this case what do we love about um you know what do, will you love about your future spouse is he shows you love by actions yeah about his feelings he ta also talks about his feelings this is someone who also talks about his feelings and um yeah he's definitely an introvert and you like that it's it's not someone that is um like who is here and there you know this is someone um they love um being together with you very passionate yeah knight of wands could be a fire sign i also want to look at the signs what do we have here and the seven of swords and this person doesn't like lying you know they're very true very true they hate liars like even if the smallest lie they don't like but at the same time, you know, they can be very um, accurate. You know what I mean? But you love this about your person. So you are someone that's also love speaking the truth. And of course, who doesn't, you know? But this is someone um, who speaks up. Like if they don't like something, they're speaking up. I see this with this card and this card. This is someone who messages you a lot. They're very passionate and they're talking about this. They speak about this. They tell you when they want to have something and when they don't like something. Yeah, this is someone very communicative. I see that right away. And you love that about your person. Um, you always know what they want. Like, you don't have to guess. You know, sometimes we meet um, people where we have to guess what they want. They don't really tell. But this person here openly tells you when they're annoyed, when they're pissed, and they also say you know when when they love and and they're really communicative but they are an introvert this is someone um they might not even have a lot of friends but you don't mind about this 
this is someone who loves doing things together they're very passionate this is fire energy um aries sagittarius leo so they have it somewhere in their chart they love the color red i see that right away here they love red they dress um in colors that um i mean they love red but on on you they don't i don't think this is their color they were more like grayish colors like colors that are like natural tones this person is someone they don't really um they're not a colorful bird you know what i mean like someone who dresses to impress like people turn their heads and go oh my gosh what is this person wearing like they're not dressing very colorful they're dressing very down to earth earthy tones brownish greenish like very down to earth very relaxed fits also and um you love that style you definitely love their style they love red on women well on you it's your future spouse right <laughs> So yeah, what you will love about your future spouse that they show their love and they show what they want. You don't have to guess and they they don't lie. Like they would rather leave if something is not the right, they would leave than as if they would, um, you know, accept a lie or even do a lie. And you really love this about them. They're very communicative. It doesn't mean they're talking a lot, but they talk a lot about how they see the world. They're talking about a lot about their inner feelings. They talk about the, a lot um, about their what they're feeling and how they, they see life. That's how I see it. It's very nice. You really love this about this person. Let's see what else. What else can you tell me about this future spouse? What else can you tell me? So we have... I never felt anything like this. It scares me. I hate myself at times. Fear of intimacy, fear-based thoughts. Yeah, this person has been through a lot because, um, you know, mm, they have been through something that made them realize it's better to speak up about how they're feeling and how about their fears and so, so on and such. Because here it says, I never felt anything like that. It scares me. I hate myself at times. They're really deep. Yeah, this person with the hermit in reverse, they go really deep. Um, but you love this about them. They're not a superficial person. Yeah, they want to talk about their feelings. They want to talk about all different things. And um, I, f I think before they meet you, they haven't been in a relationship for some time because the fear of intimacy is here. And it says, I want to open up to you, but I am scared. Open and honest communication. Yeah, very communicative, very open. And you might be scared at first because you, you think, why is this person so open? They're talking very much about their feelings right from the moment you meet them. And you might be scared first, but you, you begin to really value this about your future spouse. And it says divine timing. Everything is happening how it is meant to happen. Trust the process. So they are spiritual or, um, you know, they're believing in themselves and they believe in something. So they have a strong belief system, but you really love that. This could be that they believe in God, that they are there, they um, value their religion, you know, whatever they believe in. They also talk about this. And then we have sacred union. Wow, it seems like as if this is your twin flame or um, like you're, you're meant to meet them. This is beautiful to see. This means you will marry your twin flame or your soulmate, whatever this means, um, whoever this is for you this is you will marry them you will meet them and you will marry them isn't it gorgeous wow this is beautiful so let's see what else what do you like most about your twin flame so you already know them right now because they, they might be in your energy field is this your twin flame or your soulmate what is pile and um, yeah this is not a pile <laughs> what is yeah what how do I say that? What do you value most about your future spouse? Let's look into 3D. What do you value? What do you love? Look at this. We have the mirror coming out. It's definitely you, mirror. And they're definitely fun. They like the same things you like. So you might go dancing. They dance or you dance because this is a club. You might meet in a club, guys, or you might go out a lot together. 
Um, we have resilience. Yeah, they have lived through um, some things in their life, you know. Um, number 11. Yeah. It's like for you to meet this person. Um, I feel here it's like... You meeting them, the journey. You see how you are in the journey here? Yeah, it's this maze. It's, it's hard to find each other. Like, um, I think it takes some time till you guys meet. And what you love about them is that they always have an idea. They always know things, how to be resilient and also how to, like, they give you advice as well. Like, you can really rely on your future spouse for advice. They know how to get through the maze. They know how to get through the journey. I also see that the journey is not boring. It's kind of like you're reflecting each other and um, you're liking the same things, yeah? And um, also with these, um, you know, I feel your person because they don't, I told you before, they're not the brightest flower, like not meaning bright in the sense of, um, intelligent you know they're very intelligent but um they're not shining you know what i mean like um if you walk on the streets you you might not notice them right away but um you know because they're dressing very down and um they're very uncomfortable clothing and everything but once you are together this person is becoming this beautiful flower for you and i'm not meaning that they're ugly or so you know, and not that you're saying, oh, purple said my purse. No, it's just that they're like, not like this disco ball. They're not walking around like, <laughs> you, you probably know what I mean, you know. In a crowd of people, you would hardly recognize them. But it means this person, you know, they're, they're look at them. They're a reversed hermit. This means they don't want to attract a lot of people. They, they're dressing down on purpose. They are very for themselves. This is an introvert. But, um, you know, once you are with them, they really begin to flower and, and I don't know how to say that, to, to shine. But it's not like every, you know, when they would walk on the street, every woman would turn their head if we're talking about a guy. Every woman would go, oh my God, what's the, who's this, you know? This is not the case, but um, this is your reflection. This is your twin flame or your soulmate. What else? Okay, one more card. Key. Key opens the door. Yeah, this is this is the key for your heart. Yeah, this person has definitely the key to open your heart, and especially with the universe. You know, you guys meant to be together and. Um, you know, I also feel that, you know, with number 17, once you meet them, there are so many possibilities and opportunities that open up for you the moment you fall in love with that person. It's kind of also you discover a completely new self in yourself. It's like you've been through the maze and then here comes the key. And now together you become these beautiful flowers. I feel really that you guys have the keys to each other. I mean, we're talking about your future spouse, so this is really beautiful to see. Um, let me see. What important image? Give me one important image here. So let's see what they're giving me. One important image. So this, you know, you can find your future spouse. The high priestess. See, discernment, pre prescience prophecy vision so with the high priestess definitely this person um you know they're very secretive as i told you they're they're n not hiding yeah they're, they don't like lies and and hiding something away from you but in general this person is like a high priestess someone really spiritual someone who believes in the universe or whatever they believe in you know someone who's very much for themselves they're introverted and um, the key is high priestess so you might meet them um, as I said while being on this twin flame journey this definitely implies that they also know a lot about this journey they are also by the universe introduced into this journey so they know yeah 
It's like you have this deep knowing once you meet. You have this deep knowing. It could also be that they um, listen to tarot readings or they watch tarot readings at the moment. You know, the high priestess, if this is the key as well, it means that they're also checking out. Yeah? They're looking for their soulmate. They're also into this, which is very beautiful to see. And whatever belief system, but they're still into um, having a soulmate and everything. Can I get two more cards here from the universe? And then we're finishing off our reading. So we're having singularity. You are your own sun, moon and stars. See, I told you this person has been single for some time when you meet them. And uh, they are more or less someone that's keeping for themselves a lot. And we have navigate beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. See how there is a lot of um, navigation and guidance. So definitely this person is either spiritual or, the, or religious, but you love this about them. You love that they know everything about the journey. They're also very secretive. So, you know, you can talk with them about anything. You know, it is kept between the two of you. Okay, so that's all what I'm having my pie. Um, yeah, I always say pie. That's all what I'm having my reading for today. <laughs> so I wish you all the best. Let's get, let's get, okay, come on. I'm getting, you just told me they want to get some cards here, communication cards. Let's see what's coming out from the open heart messages. I'm just taking everything. What do you, what else you want to tell me? I have passion on my mind. Yeah, I told you, very passionate. This person is very passionate. But you would not know this in the beginning. You would not know this. And you really love this about them. When they do something, they're very passionate about this. Yeah. The answer is yes. Okay, in case you had a question. Yeah, it could be that some of you were questioning something what I said. And if you had a question in mind, the answer is yes to that question. So someone of you might have thought something or a question. I can feel you even when you're not here. So definitely this is your soulmate or twin flame. There is a deeper bond between the two of you. Um, we had so many different um, like confirmations of that with the navigation you are navigated to that person they are the high priestess or you are the high priestess it could also mean that um you know you as the divine feminine are also doing readings or you are the high priestess you know um yeah this is very very gorgeous Hi guys i'll see you next time tomorrow please like the video please um comment and i love reading for you Okay, bye guys.